Alex here with a high conflict child custody video on enforcement actions. Child support enforcement specifically is what I'm talking about. I didn't really do a video on this because it's actually something that I think a lot of people already know a lot about, but I decided to go ahead and cover it because in my video execution, I talk about the fact that I executed on my, um, my ex's assets by myself without using the DA, the district attorney, or the child support enforcement division. But I haven't actually done a video on that, so I may as well go ahead and cover that now. If you want to execute on your ex's assets, and you don't really want to do all the work yourself, which is, it is pretty complicated and stressful. Um, it can confuse people, and it could cost a little bit of money if you do it yourself. What you can do is just call up the Child Support Enforcement Division, and they will, at least in Nevada, institute something that's known as a um, child support enforcement action. I think there's two types. I think there's um, I think there's one type that's for actions instituted to collect money on a Nevada order, and I think there's a separate one that is for actions instituted to collect money for a for, from a foreign state's order. Um, I'm not sure what the significance is between the two. The initial process may be slightly different, but the point is the same. You're basically delegating your duty to collect um, and execute on a judgment to the government. Um, in a normal civil lawsuit it's just not a possibility you gotta collect your own money in a normal civil lawsuit if you win a judgment great go get the money yourself and I talk about that in the video execution but if you're trying to get child support there's a you know, whole gigantic department that'll just do all the work for you um, do I have any complaints about the child support enforcement division the only complaint that I have is that they're a little slow that they're real busy that they don't get back I guess I have a lot of complaints that they don't really get back to you very fast and the biggest complaint of all is that they're not very creative. So if you have an ex that doesn't have a really easy way for them to take money from, so like they're working on a job, they're collecting a patient from a paycheck from a corporation. If you don't have that very simple common situation, you may be pulling your hair out. If you have an ex that works um, for himself, or they have a small business, um, or they really don't work a normal job, and their money goes in and out of bank accounts and stuff. That kind of stuff, the district attorney's office, they're not very great at. That kind of stuff requires a little bit of creativity, a little bit of um, assertive, um, proactive sort of aggression. And they, they, my understanding is that they don't really go all out like that. Your money may end up not getting paid for a very long time, and they'll usually just fall back in the good old-fashioned contempt of court motion and just try to put your ex in jail for making them have to work so hard. I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather just have the money than see my ex rot in jail. There are some people who are like really vindictive and they just get off on that, but I don't really want to see my ex suffer. I just want to get the money that I'm, ent that I'm entitled to. All the dental um, surgery monies that I had to pay, all the, um, then his braces, and then of course he had to have all his extra work after because he had gaps in his teeth and stuff. It would be nice to get that money back. If she wants to go to jail, whatever, I, I don't care. It would be nice to just get the actual money. So for me, that, that that's kind of a little bit of a problem. And that's why I did that whole um, video on execution to let people know that there are ways you can try to execute on the judgment yourself. And I did do um, like a bank levy and stuff like that on my ex. And I did get some money. But I at the same time, I do have, um, I'm actually kind of doing both right now. The Child Support Enforcement Division does have an open case against my ex. And they are collecting monies like from her paycheck and stuff. But I also have, a separate civil judgment that I have that I'm collecting from her on my own and um, again I don't want to mention this like for this for the fifth time again if you want to know what I mean by doing it on my own because some people are like what are you talking about my video execution explains exactly what I'm talking about so I guess with that I'm gonna go ahead um, the only other couple details I can think of is that there are separate court cases in Nevada um, the Child Support Enforcement Action has a separate case number and a separate judge. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's a Child Support Master. It may actually be considered a Domestic Master. I'm not sure if a, a Child Support Master is a type of Domestic Master or if it's a whole completely separate thing. I'm pretty sure that they're just a Domestic Master. They're not elected. Um, they're they're um, hired or appointed or whatever, and they preside over those Child Support Enforcement um, actions. Their powers are very limited to just child support. I believe that they can modify child support, and I believe that they can um, show cause and jail a person for not paying child support, but I think that is the extent of their power. I don't think that they can do anything else. If your cu um, custody case is open, um, I think that the judge 
cannot really mess with child support once the Child Support Enforcement Division has opened or instituted a proceeding. But I may be wrong. It's possible that your family judge may be able to just sort of modify child support themselves if they feel like it. Who knows? If somebody here has an answer to that, it would be interesting to see what that answer is. At this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and if anyone has any questions concerning um, child support enforcement divisions and child support actions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. I might do another video or follow up on it, depending on the questions or the uh, yeah the questions that I or the comments that I get down below. So anyway, I will see you guys next time.